The 1900 National Convention of the Republican Party of the United States was held June 19 to June 21 in the Exposition Auditorium, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Exposition Auditorium was located south of the University of Pennsylvania, and the later Convention Hall was constructed along the building's east wall. It was demolished in 2006. Each state was allotted two delegates per electoral vote, and territories were granted from two to six delegates. Altogether, there were 926 delegates and an equal number of alternates. Mark Hanna opened the convention. He proposed that Senator Edward O. Walcott of Colorado serve as temporary chairman. The purpose of Walcott's selection was to show that the party had overcome its divisiveness of 1896, in which the Colorado delegation walked out of the Republican convention. Senator Henry Cabot Lodge of Massachusetts served as the convention's permanent chairman. President William McKinley was unanimously nominated for re-election. No candidate ran against him, although Admiral George Dewey considered a run. Governor Theodore Roosevelt of New York, who was himself a delegate, was nominated for vice president by a vote of 925 to 1 abstention, with his vote alone abstaining. State delegates The 1900 Republican National Convention included a historic first for the Republican Party, Mrs. William Henry Jones of Salt Lake City, Utah, and Mrs. J. B. West of Lewiston, Idaho served as alternate delegates. Speakers The 1900 convention had fewer speakers than a modern convention typically has due to lack of TV and even radio at this time. There were however the following speakers. Topic: <laughs> June 19. Prayer by Rev. James Gray Bolton DD. Mark Hanna. Edward O. Walcott. June 20 Prayer by Rev. Charles M. Boswell, D.D. Henry Cabot Lodge June 21 Prayer by Most Rev. P. J. Ryan, Archbishop of Philadelphia Joseph B. Foraker, Hughes Senator from Ohio, McKinley nominating speech Theodore Roosevelt, Governor of New York and McKinley seconding speech balloting, President McKinley is nominated unanimously. This is the first time something like this has happened since President Grant was in 1872. John W. Yerkes, IRS Commissioner from Kentucky George A. Knight, Attorney and Businessman from California James A. Mound, Governor of Indiana, wanting to get rid of him, the nefarious boss Platt, has convinced NY Governor Theodore Roosevelt, hero of the hour, to allow himself to be nominated for vice president. Lafayette Young, newspaper reporter from Iowa, Roosevelt nominating speech. M.J. Murray, local politician from Massachusetts, Roosevelt seconding speech. General James M. Ashton, lawyer and soldier from Washington, Roosevelt seconding speech balloting. Governor Roosevelt is the sole delegate to refuse to vote for his nomination for vice president. Chauncey Depew. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vice presidential nomination. Vice President Garrett Hobart had died in office on November 21, 1899, leaving the party the task of choosing a new running mate. Entering the convention, many had expected that the ticket would consist of President McKinley and New York Governor Theodore Roosevelt. However, Ohio Senator Mark Hanna maneuvered to keep Roosevelt off the ballot, instead proposing Navy Secretary John D. Long of Massachusetts or Iowa Representative Jonathan P. Dolliver. Without the support of McKinley, Hanna's efforts fell short. Roosevelt himself did not particularly want to abandon his position of governor, but he desired to run for president in 1904 and when the party nominated him, he accepted the position. Roosevelt's nomination was spearheaded by bosses Matthew Key of Pennsylvania and Thomas C. Platt of New York, the latter of whom wished to find a different job for the reformist Roosevelt. Topic. 
Topic: Platform. The Republican Party supported the current administration's actions in the Philippines, while the Democratic Party promoted anti-imperialism. Topic: See also History of the United States Republican Party List of Republican National Conventions U.S. Presidential Nomination Convention United States Presidential Election, 1900 1900 Democratic National Convention <laughs>